Welcome to Beyond the Press Release, a productive GORCOM in which we take the time to speak with small cap executives about what's going on at the companies. With us today, happy to have him for the first time ever, Jean-Charles Fenouf. He's CEO of Carl Data Solutions, trades on the CSC under the stock symbol CRL in the U.S. under CDTAF and for our friends in Europe on Frankfurt under uh, 7C5. Now, look. When we think about Internet of Things, IoT, 99% of us will think about smart homes in which some or all devices are connected to the Internet. In order for the smart home to work, it has to collect data from monitoring, like the outside temperature, controlling, adjust the thermostat, and transferring information to other devices to also adjust. In short, IoT and smart homes allow specific actions to be automatically taken when certain situations arrive. Carl Data does this, but for big industry, it's industrial Internet of Things. Uh, industrial Internet of Things, as you can imagine, generates significantly more data than our smart home. So the company, Carl Data, utilizes artificial intelligence, machine learning, and cloud, community, cloud computing to monitor, predict, prescribe, diagnose, and, and more. More than just lip service, over 100 clients and cities utilizing uh, it's solution for water treatment and wastewater plant. Company just closed a $5.6 million private placement. Last year did over $3 million in revenue. Some big things going on this year. And this market is $161 billion in 2019, almost a trillion dollars by 2027. Let's talk about it. JC, welcome to the show. Thank you, George. Uh, thank you for the introduction. That's exciting. <laughs> you, you have an exciting company, don't you? <laughs> For sure. Well, I arrived 90 days ago and I just blinked. Uh, it's like I'm blinking my, my eyes right now. It's, it's, uh, it was like yesterday. Uh, got, great, got time, great time. Flies, especially, exciting time. Especially when you're succeeding. So let's talk about some things you've done. But before I talk about that, the industrial Internet of Things is a massive market. How has a small cap company, so I've got to assume there's huge competition there. How is a small cap company like Carl uh, Data won so much business already? And I know you're still growing, but just to get to this point, what's the what's the secret formula? Well, um, yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, specifically, industrial Internet of Thing. We uh, we it's a crowded space already, but uh, you need to specialize yourself, and that's Carl did. Um, we are good. Well, in fact, as you said, you mentioned we are big data, artificial intelligence, internet of thing in a cloud infrastructure. And our business model is a SaaS model. We are charging by well, through recurring revenue. But our forte, it's really time series data. Data that we put a timestamp on it. So it's like, uh, well, uh, uh, something, but- so give, give, us an example. give us an example of what would be a, a time series data. Would it be water uh, flowing? Any data that you collect, but you got a time stamp on it. Now, okay. when you want to do AI with that, it's really, really complicated um, uh, because you're mixing a lot of data with different time stamp, and that's what we masterize. And that's really our forte, and that's where we are good in. Um, essentially, uh, Carl Data. It's that's our forte. So, give us an example of some of the clients you have, and then we'll break them down. Uh, I got some follow-up questions, but what are some examples? Of some clients you have because you have over a hundred clients in cities that are utilizing your water treatment, your solution for water treatment and wastewater plants already. Yeah. Well, essentially, um, currently we got um, uh, cities with water and sewer system that we are managing. We are providing or organize their data. We uh, um, uh, and and we do some uh, protection with it. Uh, accordingly, with uh, um, uh, the, uh, the some forecast on the uh, the uh, temperature, and and that could save uh, some some problem for the city. Uh, on the other end, we got some large industry that are um, want to monitor everything in terms of the air and the water too. And that's our two uh, area that we are in currently. What kind of, uh, what kind of uh, revenue do you generate typically on a typical, I know they're all different, they're probably very unique, but typically what kind of annual revenue do you, do you earn on a, on a typical customer? Well, typical customer currently, 
we are talking between, um, it's depending if they are uh, on ongoing uh, basis, but usually they are between 50 to 100 per uh, 100K per year, uh, okay. but on a monthly basis. That's our target uh, client right now. How do you guys go about getting your clients, JC? Because the, obviously they're, uh, you know the cities, you know you know who you have to get to, but do you guys have an internal force? Uh, is it a, a partnership model? How do you go about getting these customers to even talk to you, let alone win the business? Uh, currently both, in fact. We go direct on some case because some city are equipped, but some cities like to work with uh, engineering firms. And we are partnering with a series of engineering firms that like our environment, our software. Um, and we have some good thing for them in the future because we will give them more and more latitude with uh, some new features that will come in the product this year that we develop essentially to a super cluster project that we, uh, we did with in collaboration with Tech Resource, with uh, Microsoft, BC Genome, wow. uh, University of Victoria that we are finishing right now. But those technology will be integrated in our product this year. And uh, to the benefit of the current client and our current partners, but more importantly, uh, in addition to that, uh, we got a pretty aggressive expansion plan uh, with those uh, those new technology that we will flip in product. Okay, Already. so I'm glad I'm glad you said you said that about expansion plan. So, what does the pathway to revenue look like uh, in the next 12 months, 36 months, five years? Uh, I'm not asking for projections, but where do you think you've already did three million dollars? So that's fantastic. That means you're way beyond a concept. Uh, and you guys are actually executing. Uh, how do you go about, you know, so, so where are you guys going to grow revenue? Is it going to be all from the waste, the water treatment, wastewater plants, from other things? Talk to us about your pathway to revenue. Well, growth. I, I, I put over the last 90 days, uh, a pretty aggressive plan where uh, we take care of the finance, where we, uh, we, um, uh, the finance, the people, and now we are working on partnership. But essentially, we have three uh, uh, vector, uh, growth vectors. The first one is our current uh, clientele. Um, we want to increase uh, the use of our machine learning and artificial intelligence with uh, our current client and do more uh, that mean on the water, sewer, uh, sewage, and solid uh, waste management and environmental monitoring as a service. We are doing artificial intelligence, but we could do more now. We have more capabilities and that we will upsell and cross sell more into those, those uh, sectors. In addition to that, with those new capabilities that I just mentioned before, we want to leverage those customer base. We are pretty present in, in yeah. everywhere in North America, East, West, North, South. Um, and um, it's a great opportunity for us with the new type of features to go through over those 100 cities and expand in other vectors of smart cities, because now we're in water and sewer mainly, but a lot of other opportunities to handle the time series data that I was talking about previously and do some prediction with it and, and bring value to them. And that's our second. Um, um, and, and I love that one before we move on to the third, because smart cities are just going to explode and become the future, right? For everything, water, energy, traffic, uh, you name it. Uh, crime prevention, all of that. So yeah. fair to say, JC, that you guys are literally growing into an exploding marketplace. Exactly. And, but we concentrate, uh, us, we concentrate on time series data. Um, and, and as I said, we need to be disciplined. And, and the last portion, I would say, it's, it's we want to expand in other uh, smart connected space um, where we feel that you got a lot of time series data uh, and we could do some great uh, uh, prediction with it. And the first one that we just announced is the renewable energy area where we got a great opportunity to um, uh, bring value on maintenance for, uh, or protection on maintenance to save money and, and make more money uh, to our client. And we got some other area that we, uh, we are looking at right now 
in that well, field too. Yeah, what are those areas? Because time series data seems fascinating. You've piqued our interest here. So, you know, what other areas do you foresee in the future that you're going to be that you're going to be targeting? Well, let's start by the renewable energy. Yeah. We got one piece, one component, and, and the reason for we go there, we we found a great partner in maintenance uh, on solar park and, and wind park. They got the average client have one little sand, well, one box that, and we define that sandbox, they got data, but <clears throat> that box costs them, the average client, 75 million per year in maintenance and loss of energy. We think with that data, with because they got some uh, timestamp on several type of data, we, we um, and that's how like I said, <laughs> that's how we're forte. We think we could modelize and L to do some productive maintenance to save uh, those equipment and save uh, uh, costs on it, plus saving, um, not saving, but make sure that they are- Efficiency, more efficiency. Doing, yeah, efficiency and, and they are uh, not losing energy. Other area that we feel that they have that kind of ser uh, time series uh, data that we feel that with the, the, the new technology that we have, we could do some difference. It's area like, smart manufacturing, smart logistics, um, smart farming, when you, or, or a smart hospital. Like- I Give us give a smart fireman. I'd love to, what's, well, what is that example? Smart farming and smart like? hospital is really similar. Like the five uh, most uh, that, um, uh, or sickness in, in North America that, uh, that um, uh, are, are uh, bring that, Nearly all of them, if we were monitor those the people that they are sick, we we could predict 24 hours in advance uh, if they will have some degradation. Now with all the sensor that we have, it's so easy to combine that with some trigger and in advance uh, say, well, okay, well it's not in well the doctor need to say it's not uh, the the trend is not good. But organizing that, modelize that, do AI with that, that's exactly the kind of example where we want to go. That's unbelievable. It's like the, um, it's like the world is going to be a different place 10 years from now. But what, what I really like about what you're saying is this, JC, there are a lot of companies, George Com AI, who's going to say, oh, we want to utilize AI and, and change the world, do all these wonderful things. The difference with Carl Data is you've already got a hundred clients and you said some earlier your presence is everywhere so how big is it for carl data to already have that third party validation where you're known by everybody in, in 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 on the industrial side even on the government side or if not everybody knows you they're one phone call away from saying hey do you guys use carl data yeah we do we love them how how much easier has that made your sales cycle now and what does that sales cycle look like when you come to uh, St. George City in order to talk to us about your solutions? Well, either St. George City and or another field, or as I said, another uh, smart uh, connected space, it's really helpful because doing some AI, it's one thing, but masterize, um, at the beginning, you said, well, big data intelligence, artificial intelligence into cloud um, and, and uh, in the internet of thing. Um, and uh, mastering those components, those four components that Deloitte called them the big four of the industry 4.0, it's not easy. That's something that we made the proof that we are capable to do it because we handle more than 100 city with those components. Now, thinking about going somewhere else and or expand our solution to the current uh, clientele and going to another uh, smart connected space, um, those, I would say, 100 reference account of our technology yep. is behind it, it's our infrastructure. Um, yes, that's that's uh, that's reinsure the people that um, we, uh, we have uh, what is required to go after a new challenge. You've been the CEO since mid-January. So uh, you're pretty new on the scene, basically three months, uh, give or take. But you've done a lot in those 90 days. 
you uh, you close a five point six million dollar oversubscribe private placement, and you brought on five uh, pretty great people. Which both of those things should also tell me and people watching that hey, there are people who really understand your business and your private place oversubscribe. You're attracting uh, you're attracting great people. What does you know? What are you setting up for here? Because obviously you're you're filling the coffers and you're filling up the team. What's your vision, JC? Well, we were all, all in water and sewer mainly in the past. Now I explained to you a little bit about our our expansion plan. And my first 90 days was exactly the first portion was finance, the uh, private placement. But in addition, we raised two million in the line of credit to because we got some idea to uh, uh, that required um, capex. After that, it was the people that the vision required people. I got an incredible team when I arrived here, but some area, business development, marketing, product market, uh, product management uh, was required to go after uh, the expansion plan. And the third portion was starting building some uh, new partnership. And, and we announced two partnership over that 90 days, uh, uh, Smart IoT and ThinkUA uh, in terms of uh, showing uh, our first expansion area in renewable energy, but that was the base. But and, and yeah, it was exciting, really an exciting ninety days. Your your partnership with Think QA brings I'm reading a quote brings machine learning to the four point two trillion dollar utilities market. Uh, what's that partnership look like, uh, and how are you guys able to get that partnership? Well. I have it in, in our radar to go. We wanted to go in renewable, but thank you to, to ask me that because um, we got so, <laughs> that industry is so large, uh, generally speaking. And, and how we- And inefficient, right? And probably vastly inefficient. Specifically that one. And that's one of the reason I wanted to go there as of our first one, because it's not too crowded, by the way. Um, really? Yeah, with, with the, the firm like us in renewable energy, not necessarily, it's not so crowded. Um, and a lot of room to bring efficiencies with predictive model. And, and um, we needed a partner though, because um, even that we are great in AI, but we need subject matter expert to do great AI. And thank you, A, it's a, a maintenance um, and inspection uh, specialist in solar park and, and wind park. And that was our first criteria. And, and it is our first criteria to go in a new sector. We want a subject matter expert with us. The second thing I explained to you before, we need a pain. And we sit with them, we look about pains and we found that one, that average pain of 75 million per client or the average client. Um, and we, we need an economic model behind it and, and um, to, to reduce costs or increase revenue. And we think we have a lot of room here to do so. Um, and after that, well, some, some uh, criteria as we need to at least have 70, uh, well, 80 to 85% of the technology currently to in, when we do the analysis before going into a new sectors, um, we need to have time series data. That's what we have uh, to do some uh, AI and more, and the last one, we required a potential client that as a test bed, because any kind of new area we go in, we will develop them in um, a, a lean process. And a test bed is really important and a, a potential client that is a, a with us uh, through the process to, to do the solution, uh, it's crucial for us for the future. And for sure, if we are efficient with the solution, we got a, a client not too far. <laughs> and and correct me if I'm wrong, JC, what I really also love about your business is that you're not really going in there to sell something new, right? It's not like, hey, uh, you know, I want you to buy my widget here. You know, uh, They've already sunk, they already have significant investment in their water treatment, waste management, uh, solar farm, renewable energy, wind farms, all that. They need Carl data to make them more efficient because it seems like a lot of governments and industries rushed into making these investments 
and are now are saying, okay, we need to get, we need to optimize these. Is that a, is that a right way of looking at it? Yeah, exactly. But in fact, we feel that we have so much problem to solve that the six criteria need to be there. If we got those six, six business criteria, we feel that we could be successful uh, and disciplined. And yes, having and resolving problem where um, we won't be an, a must have in terms of, of a solution, but uh, a solution that is required to be more efficient. Yeah, and that just that just that just makes all the sense in the world. And given the fact that you already have the clients the products, the partnerships, you have the, uh, and you have the third party validation, you have the reputation. Um, I'm gonna leave this last word to you, but kind of kind of walking down that way is fair to say that the future looks very, very bright for Carl Data and you guys are just embarking uh, on, on your path? Well, we are ambitious and we are grateful to be uh, in the space. And, and the beauty of it, it's, um, the market value at more than 16 times organization that they are uh, in a SaaS recurring revenue model. Now, that means with discipline and, and success, great potential to create value for our shareholder. And, and for everyone watching at home, SaaS is software as a service, which is recurring, predictable, and gets a much, this, this is known throughout you know, the entire industry, find the financial industry gets a much higher multiple because of that, because it's almost like you're in now and it's just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat all over again. Uh, and uh, and that's the business model that you guys have, right, JC? Exactly. And, uh, and yeah, we go only for SaaS, SaaS uh, revenue uh, model. Congratulations on what you've accomplished your first three months. Because of the nature of Carl Data, we could talk about AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data as a service, all of this for hours. But I think what we want to accomplish here is make sure the world knows, here's a company called Data, here's the industry it's in, and here's where it's already proven itself, so it's on the growth path. Uh, and I think we've accomplished that today. But last word to you, JC, what do you want your your loyal shareholders know who've been with you and all, all new investors out there, what the, what you want them to take away? Well, in fact, as I said, we are ambitious and, and we are disciplined. Um, and, and we feel that we will create a lot of uh, value for our stakeholder and our shareholder in the future, in the near future. That's clear that in our mind that we are on the right path right now. We got all the ingredient that it was required that we put in place over the last uh, 90 days. And now we are executing. Yep. And you've got the money behind you. You've got the team behind you. So can't wait to have you back, but congratulations on what you've done in 90 days. Uh, if leaders of countries could accomplish what you've accomplished for Carl Data in the first nine days, they'd be ecstatic. So for you to do that for Carl Data is great, JC. Thanks for joining us and can't wait to have you back again. Thank you very much, uh, George. For everybody at home, you've been watching or if you've been listening by podcast on Spotify, Google, Apple, or your favorite podcast platform, to Jean-Charles Feneuf, CEO of Carl Data Solutions, trades on the CSC and the stock symbol CRL in the US, CDTAF, and for a fringe in Europe on Frankfurt under 7C5. Look, you all know at home that Agor has been saying that this decade is going to be the one in which emerging technologies, AI, AR, SaaS, cloud computing are going to completely change the economy and in our opinion is going to create three times more wealth than the last three decades combined. So that's the good news. Uh, but what comes with that is we're not all familiar with AI and machine learning and all of these new concepts and industrial IoT, let alone IoT. So for you to do your due diligence, we know there's a lot to consume. We've made your life a little easier. Get to the Carl Data Hub and Agoracom. Go into the profile section. What we've done there is give you a good layman's overview of what Carl Data does. So you can really get a feel for it. And then link over to the company's website, either from the profile section there, or you can see it right over JC's head, carlsolutions.com. Get there. Fantastic information for you to review. Real deep dive detail for you to get into. And hopefully you discovered 
your next great small cap emerging technology company. Don't say we didn't tell you so. Have a great day. See you next time. Thank you.